overseas flavour about it. Southampton Vikings have made an impressive start to the new ice hockey season. They're unbeaten in the Heineken League Division 1, with an excellent chance of gaining promotion to the com competition's top flight. One of the main factors behind their resurgence is the Canadian influence in their lineup. Bruce and Brian Sims are twins from Toronto, where they played college and club ice hockey at the very highest level. Now both are playing and coaching with the Vikings, and aided by defenceman Jim Shan, also from Canada, the reshaped Vikings are a real force to reckon with. Yeah, we, we feel we're doing a good job, and the players here uh, are working hard for us, and they've been listening well, and I'm looking forward to doing well this year. How good are they, though? Because obviously the standard here is not as high as it is, for example, in Canada or Sweden. Uh, the standard keeps, keeps improving every year, and as long as the players here start at an early age, like five or six, the way we do back in Canada, then the, the standard will keep improving. What about the, the rest of the makeup of the team? Because we have yourself and your brother who are both involved in the coaching. Um, but there is a limitation, isn't there, on the number of foreign players? Yeah, that, that's right. We have three imports. Uh, my brother and I play forward. And we have uh, Jim Shand, who's also from the Ontario College League. Uh, he plays defense for us. And the rest are all uh, first players. Are they good? Uh, I think they're doing fine. I think uh, they're a lot better than when I first got here. On Sunday, the Vikings have their toughest test so far when they play second-placed Altrincham at home. Yeah, Al Altrincham is a good side, and uh, it'll be our, uh, our hardest game of the year. We've won four games, but we haven't really been tested. So I I'd like to see us do well on, on Sunday, and then I, I can assess how the team's going to do. Do you think you can win? I think we will. My, my brother was up scouting them, and uh, I think that uh, we have a good chance to beat them. And ultimately, looking beyond that and the rest of the season, what are you hoping to achieve here? I'd, uh, obviously, uh, I'd like to win the league so we can get promoted into the Premier League. If it takes more than this year, uh, I'll be back next year and uh, to try and get them into the Premier League. Vikings. Little more than a year ago, this ice hockey club was in danger of folding up. A series of internal rows ended with many of the players leaving to join the newly formed Bournemouth Stags. This season, everything has changed. With a new-look team, the Vikings have hit a winning streak, and they're among the leaders in the first division of the National League. Their latest success was a 9-1 win over Bournemouth last weekend. There's a lot of preparation for ice hockey. Just getting on all the clothing takes 20 minutes or more. You have to be well protected, especially if you're a goalminder like Brian Cox. His equipment weighs nearly 50 pounds, but when he's on the ice, he makes light of it. Cox's good form has helped the Vikings achieve the best defensive record in the league. They've won all five matches so far. A sponsorship deal has been made, and crowds are growing in numbers as local interest hots up in this fast-moving sport. So what's the secret of the team's success? I think uh, most of it is, is, is playing with the team. Uh, we've got everybody working together. It's, uh, it's blending in nicely. We've got a lot of different guys that have different abilities, and... Uh, they're blending together to, to make our team go well. And confidence. The few wins has helped us, and, and they feel they can do it, and, and they're doing it. You've got a mixture, haven't you, of younger players and older players, too. Is that a good thing from your point of view? Oh, I think, I think it certainly is. Yeah, it adds a whole different character sort of to a team. Um, with the older guys, for the younger guys to look up to their experience and what have you, and, and the younger guys' youth and zeal and all that sort of picks up the older guys, too. So it's a good combination, I think. Darren Adams uh, is 16 years old, and uh, he's going to gain a lot of experience by playing first-team hockey. He started off on the second team, but he worked hard and has earned his spot on the first team, and uh, he's been playing well for us. Because ice hockey, for a lot of people, looks to be a very dangerous sport. I mean, would you go along with that? No, I, I don't think it's really that danger dangerous. I think that uh, every, every sport has its uh, uh, chances of getting uh, seriously injured, but uh, you're, you're well protected out there, and... Uh, you get used to the game, the way how fast the puck's going and the hitting and that, and you can cushion yourself. It's a, I don't think it's that dangerous. Danger or not, the Vikings intend to continue their remarkable revival. But just how much do they think they can achieve this season? Oh, winning the championship, most definitely, and promotion to the Premier, Premier Division. 
We feel uh, we've came a long way since the beginning of the year and that we have a shot of uh, winning this league. And uh, we're going to be working as hard as we can to get that goal. In motor racing, Hampshire's Derek Warwick.